Hey guys, what's up? Happy, uh, I think it's Monday. Happy Monday. Why am I happy? Because I have some fun technology stuff to tell you about. And um, yes, I'm actually still drinking my coffee from this morning. And some of you are like, Kelly, you're actually wearing makeup and a non-workout top. That's because I have a meeting to go to. So um, I'm shooting this video before I leave from a meeting. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna be very specific. Those of you that have been watching my videos for a while, you know that rarely happens, but I was uh, sitting on my couch last night, actually, you know, just for context, um, the reason I had time to figure all of this stuff out, I'm gonna to talk to you about my new Lenovo Yoga laptop. That is my friend, my best friend. But I'll explain why, because I had time to sit this weekend and use it and actually figure out all I could do, which I had no idea because I don't read directions or look into anything. I expect it to pop out and go, here's everything I can do for you. Somebody should invent that. I digress. Um, I had time because I wasn't allowed to work out Saturday or Sunday because I have some kind of an Achilles issue that's uh, needing attention. So I'm on my way to meet with a sports conditioning coach to deal with that. But I had a lot of time to sit on my couch Oh, there's a sticker on there. Um, to sit on my couch and watch um, a lot of television. And while I was doing that, um, I was futzing around with this. That's my word for getting a text. <laughs> Let's just turn this off. Um, we'll have to text you back later. <laughs> anyway, here's what's so funny. So, first of all, the kind folks at Lenovo, I hope I'm, ooh, sometimes that makes the light do funny things. I was, <laughs> excuse me, I was sent this, sometimes for those of you that know me, I have cinnamon in my coffee, sometimes it makes me choke. And you're probably wondering if your coffee makes you choke, why drink more? I have no idea. Anyway, so they sent me this Lenovo Yoga, that's what it's called, um, ThinkPad, which A, I've never used anything from Lenovo, B, I've never used anything called a ThinkPad, and C, I thought it was cool because it had the word yoga in it, because you all know how much I do yoga, especially now. Um, and then, you know, I got it, and I booted it up, and I was installing everything and customizing it, and then my first thought when I got this, because I'm going to show you what I've been using for when I travel for business, um, and why I chose that in the past. And as I compared it to what I found out about this, my whole opinion changed. Because I got this, and as you can see, see how light it is? Um, very thin, very light. Gosh, I hope this isn't gonna be too long of a video. I have a tendency to do that, but I wanna tell you everything. So, you know, I first got this, and I was looking at it, and you know, I'm looking on the side, and I'm like, where's the CD, DVD, ROM drive? And I immediately had a judgment about it because it doesn't have that. Now, here's why. And this is why timing is everything. Um, in the past, whenever I would travel with my, so here's my bag that I, my briefcase, right, which is significant. It's bigger than my entire body. Um, and I would pack my iPad and I would pack this gargantuan, hold on, I've got a lot of cords going on here. Because everything has to be charged. I'm obsessed with things being charged all the time. People that know me make fun of me for it. But this is the Toshiba laptop that I've always had. Now, you can see the difference between this laptop and this. And then, you know, size-wise, and I don't, I don't know if you can tell. You see how I'm, like, benching over here? And over here, I'm like, oh, look. So... This is what I'm used to using, a big, heavy, bulky laptop. Now, I will say this. Most of my friends and colleagues would always say to me, why did you buy such a big laptop? I specifically chose this because I am used to working with a really big screen at home, and when you travel as much as I tend to travel, I wanted the really big screen. I didn't want the screens that I'd had in the past with laptops that were small. That was my thing. So that's why I bought this, and that's why <laughs> I would put it in, in here with all of these extra cords. And again, I'm not going to say that I had any complaints about that, but I also would bring my workout DVDs and I would use them um, in my room. I would travel with them. Now, 
a side digression, it just so happens that I have a new trainer who is not letting me use any home workout DVDs anymore. So it just happens that this is timely because that was my one thing like, oh, it doesn't have a CD DVD ROM. But now I realize I'm not gonna need that. Furthermore, when I realized what this is and how different it is from everything, I'm actually feeling like this bad boy is going to potentially really replace what I bench press, this, and this. So, and I totally didn't expect it. So, and I'm gonna tell you how I came, up, came upon this. So, before I was sent this, I had this big laptop that I would bring with me, again, to use my DVDs in the, in the hotel room, and then I would also use it to work in the hotel room. Now, when I was on the plane, Assuming it has Wi-Fi, no talking about any airlines like United that doesn't have Wi-Fi. That was a horrible flight. But I would tend to not want to get this out because I'm going to show you in a second. It is, it is heavy. It is bulky. It doesn't have the battery life. And it takes a long time to boot up. And that was getting to be really annoying. So that's when my friend Amy started showing me all the stuff that she do, did, done did on her iPad, and I was like, okay, I'll start using this. Still, even though I have this cute little case, um, that's a very small keyboard. Okay, that's got carpal tunnel written all over it, um, and I'm very aware of that. If you spend a lot of your day typing, you need to be aware of things like that. So, you know, yes, I would use this on the plane, but still, could I really, you know, do my work with it? <sighs> I found it, I still have found it awkward. I still have not found that I can type as fast as I need to type with this keyboard. So, that's what I've tended to use, and I will say this, it does make carrying that, um, the bag with all of the stuff in it, very heavy, because then you add the magazines that I buy, and all the plugs I have, and we've got issues, okay? So, I sit down on my couch, I'm at six minutes, um, I sit down on my couch to start using this, and the reason I've started going, I need to take a second look at this, is, I looked up on the Lenovo YouTube channel and they had this picture, or excuse me, video about the, uh, it was like a yoga tour or something. And all of a sudden I'm looking at it and I'm like, this can do that? So let me show you something, okay? Here it is, it's plugged in right now. I had no idea. So first of all, I'm gonna show you uh, bonus point number one for how fast this opens up and boots up because that was one of the things that was starting to get on my nerves a little bit was that if I sat down here and I didn't want to use my iPad for something, I wanted to use my, my laptop because I was going to do a lot of typing. I would bring my laptop out and, okay, so let's just open this up. I'm going to press the little button here and you'll see. I hope I press the right button. Okay, it just boots up right away. Oh, automatically logged in. Did you see that? That was like two seconds. Just for the heck of it, for good times, same thing. Now, let me give you a caveat. I might have shut this down, so this might be going from being shut down. But let's press it on, and I'm going to tell you. So it's 144, and we're starting from fresh. Let's see how long it takes for this to boot up. Now, understandably, I am not a, um, an IT person, so I can't speak to why, but I'm sure that the reason this takes longer to boot up is um, well, I really don't want to speak to that because I'll sound like an idiot. I'm not a doctor. I'm also not an IT person. But that is, is booting up. As you can see, this is up. It's running. That took about 30 seconds. The other thing is, this was the first thing that made me go, huh? Are you kidding? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Look. It's a tablet. And just like tablets do, ah, uh, turn over. Oh, look at that! It's just like yoga! You can turn all the way down! Oh, snap! 360 degrees! Enjoy my Twitter. Um, so, yeah, when I saw that, do you see this, people? So now I'm a tablet. Oh, look! All of a sudden, let me just bend back here. Oh, I'm a laptop! And now I don't even have to press anything. I don't have to turn like, like if I was using my iPad, I'd have to switch the little Wi-Fi button and go, okay, now I don't want to use the screen. I want to use this. It's right there. Now, let me show you, because now we're on our little boot up screen here. So yeah, I have to type in my password, hold on, which is fine. You know, this is not like it's, 
Okay, so we're now at the process. Oh, dirty screen, right? Oh, of course you had to boot up really fast now that I'm trying to make a point. Well, actually, no, this is normal. So what, what happens with this is it boots up and it's, it's kind of a tease because it's like, oh, I'm looking at it now. Oh, let me reply to that tweet. And then, okay, so it'll update, but I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear it? It's going, and my issue with this every time I boot up lately is it gets there and I think that I'm, I think I'm working and I'm ready to start typing and all of a sudden it's like, it's just doing that work and it's just, and I can't do anything and literally I'll be on the plane like this. Now, let me caveat, I am single-handedly, probably easily, the most impatient person on the planet. So I realize that some people might be going, what's your problem, it's two or three minutes. That is an eternity for someone like me, especially when you're sitting there watching it versus this, what's this? Oh, I think I was updating my virus. I don't need to talk to you. Um, anyway, so back to this, light, fast boot up. Uh, I have yet to find out, I'm gonna find out what the battery life is. Um, but it's Windows 8, so we also have, hopefully I can do this for you from here. I can't see, hold on. Come on now! You know, if you want to type that way. I tend to not type that way as much because I feel like I have to peck. But again, so I'm sitting here, you know, working on my laptop sitting there watching TV and then really quickly, you know, all I got all I have to do is flip this over and suddenly it's like my tablet. Oh, I'm going to be on Pinterest. Oh, snap, look at that. Oh, look. Pinterest. And um it's fast. And then if I go, oh, you know, I need to type somebody an email. That was where I would get annoyed using my iPad because I go to type somebody an email and I'm like do, 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 do. this, flip it over here. And as far as yes, it has on the sides um, you've got your USB, blah, blah, blah. I, I honestly don't even know what half of these things are yet because I haven't used them. I was just so excited to learn everything I could do with this. And it made me look at it in a totally different way because the first time I looked at this, I'm like, it's a smaller laptop, it doesn't have a DVD player, and it's small. And what else is going to be really different from my big, huge laptop that I've been using. Well, guess what? Now that I've sat around this weekend and used this and realized it's tablet, it's laptop, it's fast, it's, you know, I can be typing or I can do touch screen, whatever I want, it's kind of become somebody that I really, really like. So I had to come out here and do a um, Lenovo Love Only, um, where's my remote control? Lenovo Love Only review because I did not expect this. I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, in fact, my mom was over here yesterday and my mom sat down with me because I was showing her how to get on Pinterest. And she was looking at this and she's like, well, your dad just bought me a new computer for the kitchen. I kind of like this. And I'm like, I know, you want my old laptop? And she's like, no, <laughs> I'm not lying. I was actually saying from now on, this is going to accompany me and be my boyfriend on trips versus that. I mean, and I never thought I would say that, never thought I would say that, but I'm pleasantly pleased. <laughs> that makes no sense, but you'll get used to that for me. So more to follow on this, but this is my initial 13 minute review. You guys have a great day and I will talk to you later.